ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And it's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, I am Jules Giang and this is K-Check. The search continues for those na gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Let's find out together kung kaya nila ang brain workout natin for this season. Samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition when we reveal our next K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Mitch, a UP Diliman Theater Art student, shines in stage and film acting, dance, singing, visual arts, and writing. Committed to amplifying unheard voices, he inspires others to stand up and be heard through various art forms. Elo is a UP College of Education senior. His hobbies include playing online games, working out, watching films or series, and his top favorite series is Friends. Next, we have Bree. Bree is an anthropology student at UP Diliman. She enjoys taking care of plants and taking long walks in her free time. And finally, we have Bianca. Bianca is a freshy 2.0 of UP Diliman. Shy but talkative, she is studying BS Mechanical Engineering in UP Diliman. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. We have Professor Glessi Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters from UP Diliman. Next, we have Assistant Professor Bernard Caslib from the Department of Social Sciences from College of Arts and Sciences in UP Manila. And finally, we have Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology in UP Manila. At ngayon, contestants, hawa ko na ang mga tanong na kailangan ninyong sagutin. Get ready to buzz in, but wait for me to call your name before answering. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Let's begin. Question number one. In measurements, how many inches are there in one foot? Mitch. 12 inches. 12 inches is correct. Paycheck. Question number two. What day of the week is two days before Sunday? Hello. Uh, Friday. Friday is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. What member school in the UAAP is represented by the Growling Tigers? Hello. University of Santo Tomas. University of Santo Tomas or USD is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. In elementary mathematics, what is the product of 20 and 80? Hello. 1,600. 1,600 is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. What silvery white metal has the chemical symbol K? Hello. Potassium. Potassium is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. Which district of Los Angeles is considered the center of the American film industry? Three. Hollywood. Hollywood is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. Which Philippine senator married actress Hart Evangelista in 2015? Hello. Cheese Escudero. Cheese Escudero or Francis Cheese Escudero is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. In sports. All 30 teams in the NBA except the Raptors are based in the United States. What is the home country of the Toronto Raptors in the NBA? Three. Canada. Canada is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. What popular beverage is associated with the drinks mocha, flat white, affogato, and espresso? Hello. Coffee. Coffee is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. In the human body, in what organ can you find hemispheres as well as the cerebellum? Hello. Brain. Brain is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. What musical instrument has a keyboard consisting of 88 black and white keys? Hello. Piano. Piano is correct. Okay, check. But can I tatawa, Okay, last question for this round. 
the elliptical road goes around the memorial for which Philippine president? Three. Quezon? Quezon or Manuel Quezon is correct. K check. And that ends round number one. After that round, we have Elo in the lead with 80 points, followed by Bree with 30 points, next Mitch with 10 points, and Bianca, kaya mo pang humabol sa susunod nating mga round. So, time to get to know more about our contestants. So, una-una si Mitch. Mitch, sinabi mo kanina na you are committed to amplifying unheard voices. So, paano mo ba ginagawa to and how do you inspire others? Um, well, actually, since... Um I'm a variety artist, so nagpe-paint, nag, uh, kumakanta, sumasayaw, kahit anong uri ng seating, um, handa akong gawin para um, mabigyan ng boses yung mga taong hindi marinig at piniling hindi mapakinggan. So, um, sa pamamaraan ng paggamit ko ng talento ko, ng, kahit anong uri ng seating. Very quickly, uh, ano usually yung process mo before, pakunari, if you're doing a choreography, paano mo gagawin na ma ma-reflect yung message ng mga unheard voices doon? Kinakausap po ba muna sila? Or... Um, yeah, actually, uh, yung proseso po lagi namin, uh, lalo sa teatro po, mm -hmm. is mahalaga po talaga yung, um, yung research pa or parang mak makikisama ka din sa mga tao na inere-represent mo to avoid misrepresenting Tama. their culture and um, their communities. Tama. So, if, if you're representing um, a certain community or particular community, kailangan alam mo kung ano yung ginagalawa nila. Tama. So, dapat lumulubog muna tayo bago tayo sumabak agad. Thank you so much, Mitch. So naman, sunod naman. Hello, Elo. Okay, so ikaw naman ay isang uh, mahilig no, sa mga online games. Ano ba yung main game na nilalaro mo ngayon? At saan ka, ba't ka na-excite dito sa mga online games? Uh, right now, uh, Valorant. So, PC game siya. So, I think nakaka-excite siya kasi parang nag-deserve siya as stress reliever. You know, stress from ACADS, mm -hmm. ORGS, ganun. So, ayun, parang nagsisilbi siyang pahinga after everything na kinabaliwan. <laughs> okay. Maraming salamat sa'yo, Elo. Itutuloy natin ang usapan later. Pero right now, maghanda na tayong lahat for round 2. Susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Points recap muna tayo. Elo is leading with 80 points, followed by Bree with 30 points. Next, Mitch with 10 points. And si Bianca naman na syempre kaya pang humabol sa susunod nating mga rounds. So ngayon, tuloy natin yung getting to know with our contestants. Simulan natin si Bree. So nabanggit nga natin kanina no, na you enjoy taking care of plants. So what is it about horticulture that brings you joy? Uh, for me, it's therapeutic. Like, I don't have to do much na in sa busy lives of college students. Always so mm -hmm. fast-paced. Ang daming kailangan gawin. Whenever I spend time just taking care of my plants, parang it suits me. It's okay. relaxing. And hindi ko kailangan magmadali or to stress about what to do next. Mm -hmm. Did this start during the pandemic or pre-pandemic? Um, during the pandemic, for your interest, ko, it's always been there since I was younger. Oh, may favorite ka ba sa mga plant babies mo sa bahay? Um, meron isa which medyo ano siya, critically yung ano niya. Okay. Yung situ, Bakit? Kasi uh, medyo I think due to pesticide sa dorm ko mm. na hindi nag hindi maganda yung naging condition niya. So Near rehabilitate ko ngayon. Let's okay. see if mabubuhay pa siya. Hopefully, yes. Sige, update mo kami dyan, Bri. Thank you so much. Sunod naman si Bianca. Sinabi natin kanina na si Bianca ay shy but talkative ka. So, ano ba yung pinaka-passion mo that you feel you can't stop talking about? Uh, I think yung passion ko that I cannot stop talking about is about uh, promoting diversity and mental health, uh, just like uh, how we embrace each pe each other, especially in UP, since UP has a very uh, vibrant uh, community of educators and students. Po. Oh, but that's Miguel. 
Ah. <laughs> Joke lang. <laughs> De, pero siyempre, talaga mag nag uusapan natin mental health, sobrang important yan. Na kailangan mag-take tayo ng pause from time oh. to time despite yung itong mga requirements natin. Kasi important yun. Kasi kung hindi maayos mental health mo, tapos puro requirements ka lang, hindi ka magpapatuloy. So, thank you so much, Bianca, for that reminder. Maraming salamat sa mga contestants natin for sharing your stories with us. But ito na po, tuloy-tuloy na tayo sa ating competition. This is round two. Remember to wait to be acknowledged before answering. Okay? In round two, each correct answer is worth 20 points. However, you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. Question number one. In sports, how many holes comprise a regular round of golf in major tournaments? The correct answer is 18. Question number two. In a four-part chorus, it is below soprano and above tenor. What is this vocal range that is usually the lowest female voice in choral music? Bianca. Alto. Alto is correct. K-check. Question number three. In chemistry, Deuterium is an isotope of which chemical element, which is the lightest of all? Hello. Hydrogen. Hydrogen is correct. K-check. Question number four. What Latin phrase refers to a person who is not welcome in a particular place because of something they have said or done? Hello. Persona non grata. Let me continue. Especially one who is told to leave a country by the government. You said persona non grata. That's correct. K check. Question number five. What type of popular Italian cheese, known for its mild flavor, is the most popular cheese topping for pizza? Ha? Cheese pa naman yung pangalan mo. Pero the correct answer is mozzarella. Okay? Okay, question number six. Which 20th century Philippine president was born in 1928 in Lingayen, Pangasinan? Bianca. Narciso Ramos Jr. That is wrong. Anyone can steal? The correct answer is Fidel Ramos. Tatay niya ba yun? Okay. Next question, number seven. What racket sport has a name identical to a vegetable related to a pumpkin? The correct answer is squash. Question number eight. What do you call? The art of analyzing the physical features of the hands to interpret personality characteristics and predict the future. Re. Palm reading. Palm reading is acceptable. Or palmistry. So that's K check. Ginawa niyo yan nung grade school, no? <laughs> okay, question number nine. O math tayo. In math. How many odd integers are there from 1 to 100? Hello. 50? 50 is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. In the 2011 film of the same name, Hal Jordan is the character that turns into which superhero? The correct answer is Green Lantern. Question number 11. Mount Marapi made the news in December 2023 when it suddenly erupted, sending ash as high as 10,000 feet into the air. In what country south of the Philippines is Mount Marapi located? The correct answer is Indonesia. Last question for this round. Number 12. What chemical element is a non-flammable gas used to fill party balloons and has an atomic number of two? Bianca. Helium. Helium is correct. K-check. That ends round number two.
Points recap muna tayo. Leading si Elo with 140 points. Followed by Bree with 50 points. Next, si Bianca with 30 points. At si Mitch naman with 10 points. Up next, ang pinakahinihintay na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito lang yan sa K-Check. Welcome back everyone. Points recap muna tayo. Elo is leading with 140 points, followed by Bree with 50 points, Bianca with 30 points, and Mitch with 10 points. So in the lead man, si Elo ngayon ay may chance pa rin makahabol ang iba kasi ang susunod na natin ay ang ultimate pagalingan round. Remember, sa ating panel of experts magagaling ang mga katanungan and this is your last chance para humabol. Dito po, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. And let's begin. First question for this round will come from Prof. Glessy. Hello. <laughs> so, ang galing sa akin ay uh, tungkol sa pelikula. Who was the original true this liit child actor? Letter A, Susan Roses. Letter B, Marichu Vera Perez. Letter C, Vilma Santos. Letter D, Maricel Soriano. And letter E, Sharon Coneta. Ang sagot ay si Vilma Santos. Yung true this liit, tungkol yan sa isang bata no, nung araw no, na pelikula. Yan. Thank you. Next question, Prof. Bernard. Okay. Uh, the next question is from Ethics. Okay. According to Immanuel Kant, the German philosopher, what imperatives should be followed regardless of conditions or antecedent situations? Letter A, categorical imperatives. Letter B, unconditional imperatives. Letter B, categorical imperatives. Categorical imperatives, Kate check. Thank you. Prof. Marla, next question. Geology. What is a lahar? A. A type of volcan volcanic rock. B. A fast-moving mud flow of volcanic materials and water. C. A type of volcanic gas. D. A type of lava flow. E. An underground volcanic chamber. B. Letter D. A type of lava flow. The answer is wrong. Bianca. Um, letter B, a fast-moving mud flow of volcanic materials and water. That is correct. Okay, check. Thank you. Next question, Prof. Lessi. Next question. Who was the father of Philippine recording industry? Letter A, Cecil La Peña. Letter B, Cecil Lloyd. Letter C, Cecil Guidote. Letter D, Cecilia Bulao. And letter E, Cecilia Munoz Palma. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, Cecil Lloyd. Thank you. Prof. Bernard? Okay, this question is for the history of thought. Who among the following advocates material pleasure as a source of happiness. Letter A, Epicurus. Letter B, Socrates. Letter C, Plato. Letter D, Plotinus. Or letter E, Aristippus. Okay, the correct answer is Epicurus. That's why we have an English term, Epicurean, for uh, pleasure-seeking. Prof. Marla? What is the function of the al alveoli in the human respiratory system? A. Gas exchange. B. Producing mucus. C. Bianca. A. Gas exchange. A. Gas exchange is correct. K-check. Thank you. 
Okay. Cross Plessy, next question. Sige. Uh, usapang lugar. Ang lugar na ito ay pinangalan sa isang variety ng kawayan. Matatagpuan dito ang Philippine Arena. Ano ang pangalan ng munisipalidad na ito? Letter A, Biga. Letter B, Bulacan. Letter C, Balagtas. Letter D, Bukawe. And letter E, May Kawayan. Hello, Bulacan. Uh, the answer is wrong. Bianca. Uh, May Kawayan. The answer is wrong. B. Bukawe. The correct answer is letter D, Bukawe. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Bernard. This one is for general philosophy. The question is, which is a branch of philosophy that deals with the theory of knowledge, its validity, scope, and methods? Letter A, ethics. Letter B, metaphysics. Letter C, ontology. Letter D, phenomenology. Or letter E, B. Ontology. That's wrong. Sorry. That's wrong. Letter E, epistemology. The correct answer is epistemology. The Greek word episteme means knowledge. Prof. Marila. Next question. What is the function of the kidneys in the human body? A. Regulating blood sugar. B. Producing insulin. C. Filtration and removal of waste. D. Storing bile. E. Digesting fat. B. Filtration and removal of waste. Letter C is correct. K. Check. Thank you. Now we're off to the last set of questions for this round. Prof. Glessy, go ahead. Okay. Usapang artista. He was known as the great profile of Philippine cinema. And he was known for doing heroic roles during his movie career. Sino siya? Letter A, Romnick Sarmienta. Letter B, Leopoldo Salcedo. Letter C, Leopoldo Season. Letter D, Leonardo DiCaprio. Letter E, Leonardo Stewart. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, Leopoldo Salcedo. Thank you so much, Prof. Bernard. Okay, uh, for my last question, this is from Logic. Which valid argument form is denoted by if P, then Q, P, therefore Q? A, modus ponens. B, modus tollens. C, hypothetical syllogism, or D, disjunctive syllogism. Letter E, addition. The correct answer is A, modus ponens. Thank you. Okay, so before the last question for this round, kung makakasagot ng tama si Bri, you will be the winner. Kung walang makakasagot, Elo will be the winner. Let's see. Prof. Marla. Question. Which region is known as the Typhoon Alley due to frequent typhoon activity? A. Caribbean Sea B. Pacific Ocean C. Bianca B. Pacific Ocean B. Pacific Ocean is correct. K. Check. And that's it for K. Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Elo, our K-Check Daily winner with a final score of 125 points. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay, makakasama uli natin si Elo bukas when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-final. Siyempre, maraming salamat din kina Mitch, Bri, and Bianca sa pagsali. And of course, to our panel of experts, we have Professor Glessy, Professor Bernard, and Professor Marla. Maraming salamat po. Ako po si Jules Giang. Please join us again tomorrow for another K-Check.